Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be learning something called as activity codes. So we'll be creating some activity codes, then we'll be assigning those activity codes, and then we'll be using the options of filter by and grouping and sorting to show the usage of activity codes. So without any delay, let's get started. So first of all, what are activity codes? See, as you can see right now, this particular table, all the activities are sorted based on the uh, WBS, like civil works, finishing, and your MEV works. You can see these activities sorted. But suppose, for example, you know, let us take an example that brickwork and plastering are being undertaken by a particular subcontractor whose name is, let's say, PQ Services. Similarly, let's say uh, painting and uh, doors and windows is taken by some other subcontractor at site. And let's say these all activities, site clearance, excavation, these are taken by internal team of that particular Wales uh, Private Limited for which we are uh, executing that project. So now if I want to segregate the activities which are being undertaken by a particular subcontractor, then how can I do this? So the only way with which we can segregate the activities based on a certain criteria is by assigning the activity codes to them. See, there are already some predefined options from which you can group and filter. Like if you go here, then you see group and sort by option is available in the tools bar. If you go there, then you see right now your activities are grouped on the basis of WBS level one. Level one means these green colored bars. So if I change this option to maybe suppose something else, like suppose if you see, if I want, uh, let us say, the activities to be uh, sorted based on activity type. And if I click on OK, so if you see now, they will be sorting based on the type of activity, which is task dependent. All the activities in our project were task dependent. So under the task dependent, it has shown all the activities to us. So similarly, we can use this option to sort the activities based on other criteria also. So right now we'll click WBS only and we'll click on OK. So it is back to normal. But suppose if we want to sort them based on some criteria which is not available in the system, like type of subcontractor will not be available in the system. So we will need to create the activity code for that. And then we will need to assign those activity codes to the respective activities. And then only we can group them and filter them. So let us get started. Let us create the activity code. So how to create the activity code? You need to go to this enterprise option in the tools bar and you need to expand this and then you can click on the activity codes. So now you see, you can create these activity codes either for the EPS. If you go for the EPS and if you click on modify, then you need to choose that for which EPS you want to create the activity code. So that activity code will be valid only inside that particular EPS. Suppose if I choose civil works, then that particular activity code will be only applicable for the activities inside the civil works. If I choose project, then it will be only applicable for that particular project. If I choose global, then it will be applicable to all the projects inside the Primavera P6. So let us uh, let us go globally only. Okay, or maybe we can go project wise because I don't think so. We'll be apl uh, applying this case for any other projects. So now we need to click on modify. Now, since there are no activity codes, we need to add one activity code. So we can name the activity code as let's say subcontractor. Okay, so now we have successfully named this particular code. We can change the maximum length to let's say 20, let it, let it be 20. So uh, this maximum length of 20 means the uh, name of the activity codes. So now what we can do is we can simply close this particular window. So now what you need to do is you need to go to option of close here activity code, you need to create some types of subcontractors which are uh, associated with your activity. So for that, you need to click on this add button. So first of all, you can assign any particular code to the subcontractor. Suppose, for example, one of your subcontractor is, uh, let's say, uh, finishing. So we can write FIN as the code and his name as finishing private limited. Let it be. And we can choose a color also for this particular subcontractor. So let us say we will go with this green color. 
so we can add one more uh, subcontractor which is let's say pq so the name is pq engineering limited and we can change the color for him for this particular subcontractor as this and we can add one more type of subcontractor let us be esc so let us name is as esc private limited and we can again choose a color for him let us go for yellow this time okay so we can give the description we can choose the code value we can define the color for these subcontractors these are the names of the subcontractors so we have successfully created the activity codes now it is the time to assign these activity codes to the respective activities so what you can do is you can add the column of uh, your subcontractor here by going into the columns and you can go to the activity codes project and you can add the subcontractor column here maybe after activity name and you can click on okay now you see the subcontractor column has been added here now you just need to define that which all activities are uh, undertaken by those particular subcontractors like for example site clearance so let us choose this as esc private limited similarly let us go for all the civil works by esc private limited only so how to do this you can use the fill down option so you can need to you need to press the shift key on the keyboard and you can select the last one and you can press control plus e or fill down so this will fill esc to all the activities till which you have selected now let us go for earth filling by pq let us go for brickwork by let us say fin and let us go for this by esc again this is some randomly i'm just choosing just for uh, solving the problem you can just arbitrarily put whatever you want doesn't matter much and these again we'll go for pq then let's go for esc and let's go for fin so we have successfully assigned these particular uh, activity codes to our activities you can see the same here also if you want okay so this we can remove this i created earlier okay so for all the activities you can see the subcontractors okay so we have the subcontractors assigned to all the activities now this sample is nothing but it is some other kind of activity code which i created for some other example so we have now assigned the activity codes now we can sort the activities now suppose if you want to know the activities which are undertaken by the pq subcontractor pq engineering limited or if you want to display all the activities which are undertaken by finishing private limited okay so then you can use the option of grouping and sorting by which is available in your tools bar which i already showed you so you need to Uh, so first of all you need to click this particular button so in group by you can choose subcontractors so you need to search here is the subcontractor option available and you can click on okay so when you click on okay you see all the activities are now grouped on the basis of the subcontractors like finishing 7 10 and 13th activity pq 6 9 and 11 and esc 1 2 3 4 5 8 and 12 so this is how you sort the activities if you want to sort them uh, alphabetically also you can do that also from here i think there was an option to sort them alphabetically so you can write sort bands alphabetically and you can click on okay so now it is coming alphabetically first of all e is coming then f is coming and then your p is coming so this is how we filter by uh, we group and sort you can also do the same thing using some option called as filter by so let us first go to wbs only for here and we click on okay so it is back to basic so now we'll use the option of filter by so you can just click on this filter by option you can create a new filter let us say uh, we will choose the name of the filter as fin finishing private limited okay so where subcontractor is 
equals finishing you can assign this and you can click on okay so this is the filter that you have created and you can click on okay so now you see it has shown all the activities which are being undertaken by finishing subcontractor activity number 7 activity number 10 and activity number 13 so this is how you use the option of filter by filter by will not uh, remove these uh, main eps it, instead it will just highlight the activities which are being undertaken by your finishing subcontractor so i hope you understood the difference between group and sort as well as filter by option so similarly you can create a filter for other uh, type of subcontractor also for pq similarly for ese also so this is the usage of filter by option and group by now to undo the effects of filter how wh what to do you need to go to filter by and you need to click on all activities instead of selected filters and then you can go to okay so now it is back to basic so i hope you understood the usage of these two options as well as you understood about activity codes so thank you everyone